So, at that point, I believed in Allah, the Quran, I believed everything. And, subhanAllah, I already knew it was true, but, like almost every single convert, there was always one teensy-weensy little thing that, subhanAllah, I can't really just guess. But, I just thought about it, and I would continue to do my research. Hour, two hours a day. And subhanAllah, I already, I had already known it was true, and I just needed to accept it. Then I found out some. Then I looked into evolution and atheism. You know, is there really good evidence for God, Allah? And when it came to the statements in the Quran. Let's be realistic, subhanAllah, couldn't have come from anything else but the Creator. And subhanAllah, I just felt that it was so true. And then, that week, I did not accept this thing. Stuff. And then, two weeks went by and I didn't accept this thing. And, of course, at this point, I had already told my parents my grandparents <laughs> and subhanallah they were supportive and my mom said that she would research with me but she never ever did and you know one day I just told her like I sat with her and subhanallah I just told her Mom, like, we need to start taking this seriously. Like, this is the religion of Huck. This is the religion of truth. And I had to tell her that, you know, it's probably going to happen. And I found out the Bible made ridiculous claims, and I officially at that point was no longer a Christian. <laughs> And it was just a matter of saying the shahada. And the research continued. Wallahi, there was never a day that went by where I never stopped when it came to religion. I always had to get like a little bit of my dose. It was like a, it was like a, it was like a, a drug. I had to take it. The effects were always positive with it. Subhanallah. It was almost the end of the year of grade seven. And I have told some of my friends, and they said, no, do it. Just do it. Take the shahada, become a Muslim, do it. And alhamdulillah, it was the last day of school. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was in the morning. I was alone. And I did the sujood. I put my head to the ground. I said, oh God, if you are there... Please guide me. And um, and as soon as I did that, I got the goosebumps, and I I felt as though the same feeling I felt when I first heard the Quran. So I gave this a jude, and I felt like. I was at home again. Felt as though I had returned to where I should be. And Subhanallah. After that, I made what the, the way the Bible told me to do it. And then I looked to the sky, and I went like this, a mixture of this and this. I said, "God, please guide me." And I got the same feeling. And Subhanallah. I was sitting down. And I just had to think to myself, 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله I bear witness that there is no God but the one true God and I bear witness that Muhammad is his final messenger may the peace and blessings of God be upon him and I bear witness that Jesus is the messenger and I bear, bear witness that Abraham is his messenger أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله سبحانه وتعالى saved me from where I was in my state and he took me away from the oppression of today's society and he blessed me with the deen of Allah of Islam and I started to cry and I couldn't stop I had given my soul and my heart to God to the creator and I had good reasons for doing it it wasn't just off blind faith it was with evidence and I realized it was the truth and Allah if you're Muslim please Never take Islam lightly. Fear Allah and His punishments. Pray five times a day. Do whatever it takes. And may the angels of heaven write your name only in a good way when they track what you do. Because Allah has blessed me with Islam. And He blessed you too. Fear Allah, talk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you're watching this and you've had doubts recently and you feel as though you know what's the truth, convert. Just do it. You already know what's the truth, you're just affirming.